welcome to today's video today's video is going to be a halloween one a diy um inspiring the hocus pocus let's get started this diy is almost free it only cost me five dollars to make and the other ones are actually decorations but let's get started five dollars Okay, to make my witch brooms, I gather things from my backyard, literally. These were totally free. <laughs> um, it got some things I that did. were green, but they will soon turn um, yellow or brownish, whatever color they turn. And so these are um, sugarcane um, leaves from my sugarcane plant over there. This is... Um, these are, I think this was just weeds that I pull out from our grass and I just toss them to our gravel right here. And then this is lemongrass, which I have two big lemongrasses and I cut some because I was running out of ideas what to use. You can smell it. It smells really nice. Um, so I got those for my broom bottoms and then I will have recycled totally from my backyard like I told you this is a stick from um, my plum cherry tree over there and I liked it because it had this curved thing that it doesn't look very much like a straight um, stick but more like a witchy broom then I also got this one this is a bamboo stick that my husband used for his trees and things like that it's a bit old already so it's really weathered um weathered out so it's not very orangey like a like a bamboo stick which is nice so we can go again with the aesthetic of a broomstick from a witch and then i got this one which is it's one of those um what do you call it like those lantern tiki tiki lamp things that you put those slimy things which is really old i did have another one but um i like the structure that i had here that i can put in the sticks there and it becomes like a broom and as you can see it's totally withered out and oldish so those are my four my three sticks that i'm going to be using for for my brooms and i'm going to be gathering the things with this twine that i got i have purple white i have black they come in little packs of threes from the dollar store i'm going to be using this and i'm going to be also needing scissors and some um, gloves because these do cut your hand this one's and or they are very itchy um i can totally show you where i would which is also a recycled part of my fence my husband actually renewed the fence um door over there on the side and had some leftovers and i actually cut the well he cut them for me uh to show you the other part where i'm going to be painting the sander sisters there and i'm going to be putting each of our brooms here and then i'm not sure color will change by the time I'm actually finished with all the project then um, we get to clean I uh, recommend for you to do this in your backyard like I did mine because if you do get these kinds of things you will get these kinds of mess so I'm going to be using this little puppies right here for plumbing they're to grab onto the pipes and then some of these. If you don't have these, you can All the brooms could be hanged from somewhere because they're it has that piece of wood there. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna put it in my wall outside. But 
at least they're in one place like all of them all three together I, I want to wait for the green part to get um, dry and old like that one and maybe paint a couple of some of the like I guess this one a, a couple of it black and as well as the shiny little holders black as well for the painting of my Sandra sisters um, I like I told you I use our this is the door from our backyard and it's just fancy and my husband um, put screwed up, uh, screws on the back and screw the the top and the bottom to have more stability and it also becomes a little bit heavier so it's not going to like totally flip on the air I can just lean it up against the wall and then you are able to see the painting or whatever you're gonna put um, we're gonna be I'm gonna be needing or I'm going to be using these pumpkins I didn't find enough of this ones that are the new ones that they have at the Dollar Tree um, I only found one and then next another time I went and then I found this one and there was only one as well so my luck right and I have this ones that are also from the Dollar Tree but I got these last 
year i think or the year before that i can't remember i think it was last year but um, you can see these ones are for thanksgiving and they have this little accent right here but this kind of topiary or sign that we're going to make i'm going to be using the other side of the pumpkin and maybe i can do this as a reversible one for thanksgiving when thanksgiving comes so i'm going to be placing them a little bit sideways like this and then going to be painting this one and then have this one on the back and then this one on the very top and then it's going to be like silly silly pumpkins and then i can hang it if i want to from from the string over here or um just put it with a stick however i want to so we're gonna go ahead and take off the stickers from here this one's coming a little bit easier than that one and then we're gonna go ahead and paint using three instead to stabilize my um, sign into I'll call drawn I have this little calder on here that's like a candy pail it got a little bit broken I think yep and I just stick it with some tape in there nobody's going to see and i'm going to um put this little guy like this and going to stick these here and use my pointy parts my pointy parts of the sticks to stick it in my big tail which we're going to cover up as well with this and with um the rest of our here. here I have a piece this is a piece of like cloth like meshy thing that I had um, I got him for a few cents like 50 cents or less in Hobby Lobby last year sometime like that and um, I just tuck it in there with some styrofoam in there hopefully it will hold and that was Layla if you hear the little meow and um, now we're gonna stick the little bamboo sticks to our pumpkins over here I already had stick a little bit on the bottom so it would help me guide. For our wreath here, we're gonna get a wreath form, of course, from the dollar store. A creepy cloth, uh, again, from the dollar store. And our cat uh, decor, and this is the, the felt cat. Um, from the dollar store so mostly of everything is from the dollar store you guys already know um, and we're going to make this a creepy cloth um, 
wreath and I'm going to put the cat from the uh, Sanders Sisters, the little black cat. I can't remember the name this of is, him. Uh, right going to be, I'm going to be representing Binks from the Hocus Pocus um, Sanders Sisters cat, which he's really not a live cat. <laughs> so we're going to have that one. Instead of just hanging our little cat just like that in our door, I'm going to be covering the wreath with these and let's get started with the craft. And I'm trying to do everything super easy for you guys to replicate, of, of course. decorations that you already have from previous years you can see I changed the color on to a big one I didn't find it at the moment and I did here's my topi area I decided to use here are my rooms I hang weirdly over there you don't want to drill my wall the topi area could also be a sign remember I have my little cat um wreath I know the vampire doesn't go with my witchy theme but I like it my boo sign from the dollar tree the little hat and a little pumpkin with the hat. I try to be a little bit simple. Excuse my daughters over there. A little simple this time, just to be more center right there with the Sander sisters in my Hocus Pocus time. Hopefully you guys like it. And um, yeah. forgot I got this little mat come in my pretties from the dollar store they had pretty cute ones and this one kind of matched my theme with the uh, witches so hurry and get yours hopefully you guys like my uh, DIYs that I did for you guys for the Halloween um, theme Hocus Pocus I added some light thank you guys for watching subscribe like and share see you next time bye bye, bye, -bye.